When you think about Boston sports dynasties, you think about the glory days of the Celtics, the Patriots, but there's another local team that definitely qualifies. The Hayden Nets are a synchronized skating team aiming for their, you ready for this? 30th national championship. Sports Center 5's Naoko Funayama hits the ice to learn the secret of their success. What is it like to be part of the most successful team in the history of your sport? Really quite powerful. The Hayden Nets are a powerhouse in synchronized skating, 29 national championships, and going for a 30th this season. That feel real fucking yeah. Well, Hayden Nets, um, we have a lot of personalities. Go again, five, six, seven, eight. Saga Krantz has been coaching the Hayden Nets for 17 years. She says it takes quite a bit of work ethic and commitment to be part of the club. You can't do the sport without being a true athlete, taking good care of yourself, um, scheduling your life around the sport. Skating is a combination of the artistic aspects, the performance, but then it's very much a sport in the sense of it takes strength, flexibility, agility, everything else um, to make it come together. It has to be solid, straight, sharp, and then loose, loose. The athletes come from all over the country. They apply to colleges in Boston, get jobs in Boston. They make schedules that work around practices. It's all surrounded around Haydenettes. Many of these athletes start out as single skaters, but then they want the team aspect of the sport. So of course, like all teams, there are tryouts. And for the Haydenettes, there are national competitions, international competitions, and a world title to be won. I like our chances. We got really big goals and a lot of work to do to get there. But like I said, we all have the drive and passion to get there. At the Skating Club of Boston in Norwood, Naoko Funaima, WCVB, Sports Center 5. That's incredible. Yeah, they're beautiful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, the national championships are in March, by the way, in Illinois.